Hi everybody, this is Marlene with Miami Ghost Chronicles and you are about to see me in an investigation that I was at just last night, which is why I look like this because I rolled in to my house around 3 a.m. Uh, you're going to see throughout the investigation uh, there was a lot of information that was collected. It fades in and out because this was a very large property including not only the house but including the, the property, the yard and on top of that the homeowner had an extensive collection of antiques, very unusual antiques, and you'll see them around the background. So that added an extra layer to the investigation, trying to determine what's going on. By the way, we had already had a team go in there on a first visit with this family to determine if there was actually any type of paranormal activity going on, which there was, and then I was asked to join in uh, for the follow-up and uh, you're go at the end I'll come back and I'm going to let you s basically summarize what it is that we found but uh, when you uh, see me in this first clip I've already gone out to the yard okay uh, because like I said it's very extensive grounds and you're going to see what happens not only when people get some type of paranormal activity attached to the land because they happen to move there. In other words, this was not directed at them, but you basically have what I call a paranormal hot potato on your hands because you live there now. And when you have something that's all yours, which means that if you move away, which is what's happening with this family, it's going to go with you. So basically you have a family uh, that is experiencing from different ends. And this is really important in a paranormal investigation to be aware that sometimes the sources of what's going on could be totally motivated by something different. And check it out. Hope you guys like it because I'm telling you, it was a very interesting but draining experience because there was just so much going guy on. Out there, yeah, I get the feeling of either uh, probably either a gardener or a landscaper or something like that. And I'm trying to figure out where this kid came from. But you have like a, a child, maybe 10 or 11. Again, I don't, because that's sometimes that will happen where it doesn't have to necessarily be people that live here, here. And for some reason, I'm going to tell, and I know you guys have only been here two years. Either that happened or somebody here at some time was trying to do spirit contact. And that's what happens when they'll pull in the scarnets that, that after the session is done, they, st they stay here. The Ouija board, something like that, right? Yeah, spirit contact could be anything. Ouija board, seance, anything. That doesn't know how, what they're doing or doesn't like learn how to like just close it and send them back or whatever. <laughs> so somebody along the line did that here at this house. Oh, it has to, had to be here. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. That's why they ended up here, but they just never yeah. left. Just they. Tell they me what happened, Marlene. Someone okay. had to have played like. Some somebody did some type of spirit contact beforehand, yeah. which is why these two entities that are out here, I, they're not originally like they never lived here, but they stayed out here. Usually, this will happen uh, when somebody's attempted spirit contact, and they don't really know what they're doing, or they don't know how to close it, and then some of the spirits they just they're not any better, and they like it, so they hang out. And, and you've got you two had to have played it here. Normally, yeah. You know that's why they, because you will have discarnates which are not tied to location. They're free floating. They're confused. They don't know what's going on. And then when you get somebody trying to do spirit contact, they kind of come in like, oh, somebody's gonna hear us, listen to us. And if you have someone that does not really practice or know how to close down portals, whoever attempted the spirit contact brings them in, they hang That's out, weird. and then <laughs> they just like hang out, and they're like, oh, it's not too bad, I think I'll, hey, okay, I'll just stay out here. And, but whatever is ever out here, whatever is in there, is running the show and keeps sure, make sure that they stay out here. So there's a child, like, out Yes, here? there's a child about 10 or 11 Boy, out here, a girl. She's and a man, there's a man out there, but they're totally separate. They have, they're not so connected. What's, what's that up there? I asked. The house, well, that wood? No, not that. Oh, that. One of two things I've seen that either 
in some, I've never seen anything exactly like that. Usually whenever you see um, something like that, sometimes I've seen it with baggies of here, uh, bags of water, where they'll do it to get rid of flies. If you go to some outdoor restaurants, you'll see where they have Ziploc bags full of water suspended, mm. and that keeps flies away. Or, in some belief systems, if you get clear water and you suspend it, basically it's elevating turbulence, spiritual turbulence. I don't know what the per I've never seen that before. Me neither. That's, that's what, so I really am not sure. That's the only two things I can think of. And that's a very unusual place for it, by the way. Mm. I've never. And I've, I was born here in Miami, and I've grown up here in Miami. It was very neat, but I've never seen it. I've never seen anything like that either. Very cool. Yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like if you look at it, it looks something uh, not homemade, I guess is what I'm saying. It's store-bought. Store-bought or something. I've never seen that before. That's the only thing I can think of. Look, or is that you? Just turning off the TV. Okay, so here you are. Your, and I'm going to ask you guys because I know this looks like this is your. This is the area where you guys sit down to watch TV. Yeah. yeah. How many of you guys ever seen uh, shadows or anybody walking? Yes. No. Okay. I have. You have. No. I've seen them. Okay. She's seen them as well too. Okay, and the reason why I'm saying is it's like um, they observe you guys from out there, but they don't come in here. I don't really get a bad well, feeling from outside. What's that out there, though? That that that. Comes to that window. That's either a man or that. There's something out there that comes in here and looks at you guys. That's what I'm saying from here, from these windows, or from here. Okay, but it's like two different things. What's up there and this is two, two separate things, two separate things. This, whatever's up there, has ownership of something, of this place, of something in this house. These two are just there coincidentally, because they were brought in and they just hung out and they're just here. And somebody here has probably a sensitive, maybe you, somebody here is able to see, which is also what keeps them hmm. oh, trying to be seen or acknowledged or something. Okay, so this this bedroom is everything, this is everything on this side of the house, right? So That's you have the two drawn to them, there's more bedrooms here, you have three drawn to them? Yeah, there's two more. Oh, back there's here? Three more. Yeah, there's okay. three more and there's a garage. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> she said, my name is messy, I'm like, don't worry about that. Do you hear anything when you're here from upstairs? Because you know what? You know what? You're like... No, you're good. So far, I don't feel... Mm -hmm. At least nothing's here right now. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Why do I want to cry? What's in here is very sad. Really sad. Good sad feeling. Really sad feeling. Very um, sad. Sad, like I want to cry. Not like sad. You know, you can be sad and not want to cry, but like I and, and I want to cry feeling in there. As a matter of fact, that's why I stepped out. Mom, come here. No, no, just come here, Mom. You gotta be here. My sister. Okay. Does she? It's like a weird question, but does she ever like feel really sad or upset? I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, nobody's yeah, always like, does, oh. but yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. but she does. Mm. Yeah, let me let me go in. So whatever it was, like kind of like, do away. away. No, they, they don't go away. They just like kind of like either move to another room or. This needs to be my Up to like two months ago? Month yeah, no, not even two months, months ago. Two months ago. About a month. For about two years. How did you sleep in here? I don't know. How did you stay in here? We actually slept in there, her and I. One time. We babysat for a week and her and I had probably the worst sleep ever. In here? In here. Okay. Yeah. As a matter of 
fact, probably what's in here runs off into, in other words, it's, it, it's like a bleeds over into that other room. And again, you know what, guys? This is coming from outside. What is here? You got like a side yard here? Yeah. yeah it's like another drive. We can walk around the front of the house to that. Okay. Let me, I'm going to put my shoes on because ever since I drove up, I've been looking at that. Sorry. Okay. Right. You said the first room you felt that Believe it or not, I walked in there and at that moment, it went out of the I didn't get any. Babe, I'll call you like this. I can't. I, I, it's going to take me from the boots. Come on. Joe, Walk like this. Joe, you don't need to hold that. No, don't. You know what? Let him. Babe, it's okay. I'll be right back. I was in the pain. And I was here. It's going to be Okay. Energy wise, there's something from basically that entrance. You don't feel it because when I parked over here I didn't feel it. But from the moment you come in this driveway, there's something right here, a swath of something, and I'm not gonna be it's dark. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if it's something, if it's a bleed over from next door, something that happened here. Something like Something really fun. Okay, enough that it's a demarcation line at the... Was there ever any type of... I know you guys have only been here than I know. Was there ever any type of uh, dispute or something about this property? Do you know that you know of? I know you might not know it. I mean, the landlord really is a shady guy. Oh, I don't know. That's the... I... I'm, t I'm t kind of like trying to figure out why. The land or the property? Well, and I'm trying to figure out why I feel this. Why there's uh, this feeling of contention, for lack of a better word. I'm trying to like, uh, but there's something that's here. It's this entrance right here and this right here. This right here. I'm gonna tell you something. And the reason why I'm God, something is here. Alright. They they and I'm and I'm not I don't even know. I'm not I'm not I don't know if it's your landlord or prior owner. I don't know where somebody here had some type of problem either over the property or a dispute over money or a debt or something along those lines where they somebody did black magic against them a dead person on them and it came here in other words whoever they did it against this was not you guys by the way because this was older than that uh, they did it here because this is either where the person lived or over the property that's why I was thinking could it be is it because of that person or was it because they wanted to almost like oh um, uh, uh, they want to ruin the property you understand what I'm saying like if I can't have it, I'm, you know, this is the way I'm going to get you. What kind of black magic? Uh, dead person black magic. The black magic that was used against here is what they call when they send a discarnate, okay, to a property and they tie it to a property or even though they really mean that sometimes for the person living there, but it end, they end up sending it to a property, a location. And... Was it Paleto? Possibly. Paleto. I knew it. Yeah. Most probably, they're the ones that do that type of work. Yeah, they're the yeah. ones that bind a discarnate, yeah. and they'll send them to. Uh, a lot of times, they send it to the property, like I said, because they want to affect the family, or because they want to ruin the property for mm -hmm. the family that owns. So they can never bring any fruitfulness. Right. Exactly. It's just meant to. When you have a discarnate, which is usually never has been enlightened. And for, for many reasons, sometimes they usually will bind a spirit that is was dark in life. In other words, not a nice person. It bleeds over. It's 
you go from having a really horrible life person that in death is becomes sometimes ten times as worse and they 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 do it on purpose they they specifically choose that kind of discarnate to influence and like you said to just like and it and a lot of people and, and I say it, things like this if you want to guys I can tell you uh, this stuff doesn't happen from the moment I drove up it came it came let me ask you something. Is that in line to where the where you saw the squirrel? Is that um, you go here? It's right behind the garage, and it's, it's right where the squirrel right is. Yeah. So I right wonder, on the other side of this building. I wonder if that's that man. And here I'm thinking he's a landscaper. Maybe he was a landscaper in life. Who knows? But that's the guy that's out here. I'm realizing that's who he was. And he doesn't go in. I wouldn't be surprised if they, when they did it, they buried something on the property. And a lot of times, if you know, when they come. You know, they'll come and they'll come like in the middle of the night and they'll bury something along the... Probably many years ago, you know, if you guys have been here for years. And they'll bury it, you know, as long as they have it inside the perimeters of the property. You know what I'm saying? Let's say somebody comes out here at 2 or 3 in the morning, goes over there, buries whatever they want to, and then they leave and then... And that's the thing, things like that don't coalesce overnight. Little by little, things just start going south for whoever lives here. It's upstairs, or whatever is here that's upstairs is yours, guys. It you belongs to you guys. It's connected to you, in other words. Either you or something that's here that's yours. That's why I'm saying it belongs to you. So what is outside and stays outside is something that was done to this property or to whoever lived here before you guys got here. Okay, and that it's dark out there. This up here, I feel, uh, for lack of a, it's, I want to say it's a double-edged sword. Mm -hmm. Whatever's up there keeps, keeps whatever's out there at out bay. there at bay, but it's like a double-edged sword. The influence of what's up there does affect all of you somehow which leads me to believe either this is a person that's related to you guys or knew you guys uh, versus that I could say well it's something attached to any of the items that you have here which you've got a gazillion of them you know what I'm saying and sometimes it's really difficult because it's like layers like okay let me see when I'm trying to get to something that's actually an intelligent and that leads me to believe that that what up there was somebody that at, when they were alive knew you or family or knew one of you uh, but they knew what upstairs. Yeah. Mhm. Mm <coughs> knew one of us. Right. In other words, it wasn't like. Would you like to take a seat, or should we continue yeah. walking? Oh. Um, I don't think it was somebody that. Uh, I don't think it was somebody that. That was alive and then died, and you guys came along. It feels like there's a connection. Be the kind of connection is so strong that leads me to believe that this was somebody that knew you guys or one of you. In other words, you were both alive at the same time. Um, do you want me to take out the flash then? You might try to do the flash second on the table? Sure, why not? Okay, okay. I don't know if there's plastic, I don't know if it'll work so well. Yeah, let's see. No, it works here. Is it the same as what's out there? No. Is it bad out there? Yeah, whatever's in that bad, bad room. And I hate to say it, that is bleeding a little bit in from what's on, this, on the grounds. No, what's up here kind of stays up here, but I'm telling you, it's not good either. I'm going to tell you why. Because uh, this, whatever is up there, like I said, uh, I want to say wants to have ownership over all of you guys. Like I see a type of manipulation over your lives. Okay. Yeah, it might keep a little bit what's at bay out there, but it's serving its own self interest. And. Um, Which is stronger? Well, I think, believe it or not, what's out there is really dark. It's really dark. And that's what it comes in a little bit off that window. You see that bedroom that you guys showed me that has that window to the side? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, okay, that, right, your old bedroom. That right there. It's like a curse. It's, it, eventually it comes in. It just, it, 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 it affects who I wouldn't be, and it, and it, and it travels. And that's why I felt something when I went, I think you said it was your sister's bedroom. 
middle. That middle one. Okay, and it's almost like something. It's very gradual. Okay, and uh, it also depends on the person that's in there, how sensitive they are, how susceptible they are. Might start off with bad dreams, unusual feelings, uh, things like that. But this one up here is really active. Whoever this person is, I'm trying to like really. Uh, um, this person in life was very. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Somebody that's high strung. Okay, somebody that they th that they were emotionally they were like it was very easy to make them. So I wouldn't be surprised if any of you get that that effect from that. Uh, and the reason why I'm saying that the problem with whoever's up or stays up there or goes up there is that you will get an entity who will attempt possession, okay, or possible trying to basically live a life with a body that they don't have anymore, with whoever the easiest, are you the one that sleeps up there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if at times have you, that th whatever is there um, tries to, even when you're sleeping, kind of slip in and I don't want to say possession because that's really rare, but either that you have, I know this is very generalized, have very unusual dreams about people who you've never seen or known or anything like that, or just ideas or thoughts that you yourself at some point will think, that's so weird, that's not like, I don't either, I don't think that way, or or reactions that you, real at some point you realize that they're not. Right, or just ways of thinking, things that you recognize in and of yourself. I mean, we all have that you recognize that are not that are not yours. Um, and I'm and I'm just did. <laughs> depends how you want to handle it. The thing outside is something that is going to affect anybody that lives here. It's not you, it's not yours, in other words. If any other family, let's say you guys left and another family moves in here, they would start eventually feeling the effects of it. What's up there is probably going to go with you guys wherever. That's yours. All right. Now, in my experience, any family that starts li and uh, this is I, I don't know if you've seen some shows that will tell you oh we'll we'll get along with a ghost and everybody will be happy my experience that's never a good idea it's just it always ends up bad for the living people <laughs> okay go ahead how you did you feel any pain in the back of your like the like pressure in the back of your neck and or your or or like by your ear like pressing the back no, of your no where I had it was on my right hand side by my back down here and I still have it. Well, that back room, I felt it a little bit. Okay, yeah. Um, Orly, what does the phrase look at me mean to you? Somebody wants to be acknowledged, which means... But did you hear that since you've been here? No. And to be honest with you, I really haven't tuned in. Um, how beautiful. Because I'm really good at clear audience. Okay, and a lot of, as a matter of fact, a lot of times I do hear things, but... Uh, I, I, has that look at me without having heard it if you have heard it um, it might be somebody that wants to be seen so you have some spirits that don't want to be seen in other words they want to stay they want to keep out of the way because they know that if you become aware of them or actually see them you're going to try to get rid of them the other ones that say, look at me, 
usually are trying to be acknowledged. Nobody sees them, nobody hears them, so they're ho hoping somebody, they, they got a message that they want to come across through. To be honest with you, right off the bat, neither one of these wants that. <laughs> this, the thing out there, oh, this up here, I, I, is somebody that um, knows that they're dead. They, they know that they're dead. It's not somebody that's died and just missed the bus. They know that they're dead. But I don't think they were that old. What I mean by that is it wasn't like a very old person that is, you get older, you know, I'm mentioning I died. So the feeling I get is that this person was not really that old as, but they did die from some type of illness. There was uh, some type of illness for this person, but they were very, um, they weren't ready to die. They, even though they knew that they were ill, they, didn't, they weren't ready to die and they didn't want to die. That's, uh, I see up there, and this is what I'm getting. What I'm seeing up there, it's, I want to say it's a woman. I want to go with a woman. And she has a long dressing gown on. You know, like what people wear, but a little bit longer. Um, and she's showing herself... Uh, I want to say this person was alive maybe when I say alive like in their what, what they have their best memories of 1950s 1960s uh, I want to say beyond the 1960s uh, In other words, that they were very much into. And the reason why I'm saying this, you remember in the 1960s when people would put, you know, how they had their hair, hair done up in the, you know, that they Buffon. had the hair to tease and bouffant that would, became very big in the 60s. Showing your age now. Huh? He's showing his age now. Yeah, yeah okay, well, okay. you know what? All right, uh, all my right. mom used to do that. Okay, <laughs> but you know that this was, you know, when the curlers and people would do the tease their hair and do those big, like in the '60s. That's kind of what I'm seeing. That that kind of like that kind of look. Um, that. Oh yeah, that's what this is from. It's like the 1960s, the big eyebrow, you know, when people would do the eyebrows like real thick, you know, and the, the, the big um, eye line and, and orange was a big color. <laughs> okay, all right. Who is this person? Hmm. Do you have, I want to say maybe, is that, I want, why is she so attached to, have you had this experience before you came to this house? Because it almost feels like this has been around, like in other words, maybe you're seeing it more here. Because of what's out there? Possibly, possibly. But it feels like this is something that was around with you guys even from before. Maybe it amped up to a different level. Um, how do you feel about what's there? Since you sleep there, and that's the reason why I'm asking. I love my room. You like your room? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I run there when I feel stressed. Right. 
but you're the only one that feels that way. In other words, that is your room. That's. I like my room. Yeah. I stay here alone. I like it. Okay. Yeah, I'm the only problem it has going on up there is that there's an AC problem, and mm. the AC flow doesn't get up there as much. So it becomes a little bit, but that's yeah, that's, that's mechanical. Yeah, that's that's a problem. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, oh wow, if that room had a lot of AC, I wouldn't come out of that room all day. <laughs> Do you think that's coincidental? It's not. It's not. That's why I told you earlier that whatever is there, it's, it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it kind of um, uses your body to kind of experience life because they don't have a human body anymore and they, wanna, they don't want to scare you away they don't want you to leave but um, I'm not surprised at all and whatever it is usually does not come beyond that landing right there right there but so she doesn't come down here? no not that much no mostly I, that's why I'm saying I wouldn't be surprised if somebody feels themselves being stared at from up there okay uh -huh. You know that you're I here. Felt, I feel it a lot, Marlene. I feel when I would come down here, I would tell her all the time, I don't want to be out here in this room. So right. I, like, yeah, dolls give me heebie-jeebies. Right, right. You no. know, that's that's normal. Okay. But when I would sit down here, uh -huh. if I would ever be in this room, I would <coughs> still, I would sit over there, but I would have an issue sitting there because I have a front view to yes. that sliding glass door. Which is different. That's different. But when I would come here and I would hold a conversation with them, I've had some, there are times I heard I would sit out here and talk and I know something's looking at me, but it's piercing at me and I don't like it. Right. And it's like, hey. yes. Um, when, like, you only started feeling stuff here when you moved here or did you, or did you, feel, did you had the same experience when you were living someplace else? No, only here. No, no, that's why I asked. So, because I felt like this was theirs, but that other thing is that's a property thing. But, or, again. Marlene, does it have like any animosity against any of her children? Could it have, like, maybe that she's paying maybe too much, to, too much attention to them, or maybe the fact she cares too much and she's being taken away from her sanctuary? Yes. Yes, there is that ownership. There is that, and I've seen this before, where they kind of like, because basically you are that per, that entity's battery, or they're kind of using you as a host, okay? So they want to, they, they, uh, they sometimes alienate you. You know when you have somebody that wants to like mm -hmm. keep you all the time? And that's why you also get that feeling of I could if if the AC worked great, it's like you wouldn't even you would rarely see me outside of that. That's not coincidental. That's not coincidental. By the way, and a lot of people think that 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 comes about in very slow increments. Okay, where uh, even though physically you might be here, but you're like you said you're up there that that's your safe that's your your sanctuary in other words yeah it is that is your sanctuary yeah and that's that's part of that um what do you see outside what oh, do you see that's a do man you see people in that room the back room what is i i want to Whatever was outside, and I, I've seen this, it usually stays outside, but then as time goes on, it finds way of, ways of coming in, because ultimately what it wants to do is, I wouldn't be, I, I, I have this feeling like, going out there, I wouldn't want to be on that backyard, even I in the daytime. It. You don't want to. No, it's, you know, it's, I don't get a feeling that it's uh, an area where people want to go and spend time outside. I just get that. I don't know if it. No, everything dies out there. <laughs> it really dies. Right. There's, there's just really. With the squirrel. I mean, even if you would have told me, even if you wouldn't have told me that thing about the squirrel, which is really unusual. What squirrel that yes. dies on a branch, squirrel? huh? What happened with the squirrel? It, looks crucified it just died on the on a branch. No. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. The squirrel used to visit them, and then one day they found the squirrel just killed over. Yeah, literally killed over. Really. 
Still Still crash crash dying. Dying. That's so weird. That's really weird. Because usually, like, what were we saying? When an animal like that feels sick and they die, they die. Yeah, it's not going to die eating berries. Uh, uh, it's not yeah. happy. It came every day. They, they usually will go off somewhere and die. Yeah. And Rocky's still at the house. Yeah, yeah. look, look. Oh, let me see that. Yeah, Rocky's still at the house. Let me see. What the hell? Look at that, Henry. That is so weird. I don't want to say what I think, but that's kind of up. <laughs> oh, <that is> <laughs> fill in the blanks. <laughs> that's yes. kind of. That's kind of okay, very, yeah. That's a very omen esque when I saw Yes, it. it is. It is. It is. And I don't. <laughs> and I don't mean to say that in the sense of. We have. Yeah. We we have, in our in our little ranch, we have squirrels, and we we named them, and we have one that disappeared for a while. We were like worried about it, and like. Because he comes up to the thing and he's and he's off our table. And outside we have a yeah, patio yeah. area outside. Wow. No, but and and you know what? Um uh and I don't wanna be dramatic, but whoever sent that, whoever did that, and you were right when you said that thing about Palero, what they were trying to do is put the equivalent of a death wish on whoever was here, who the intentions were. And it wasn't you guys. But we just so happened to catch it. Now you're living here, so guess what? Are the people that you saw in the garden, the man and the child, are they attached to that curse? No. As a matter of fact, now I realize that that man, that landscaper guy that I saw, which he might have been a landscaper in life for all I know. He, yeah, he's part. He was put here. And that kid, I just think she drifted over for some reason. What do you mean he was put here? That he was, that is what they do. That is the dark magic. They take a soul that they've bound. It's a black man. That they, well, that's... He, he stays over in the, he would, uh, you know that shed that you guys have back yeah. there? He stays like overneath yeah, under the shadows. He Doesn't feel er, old, like maybe like 30s, 40s, not an old man at all. As a matter of fact, no. Usually what they'll do is, I don't know if you've seen in some of these that they have those, um, what do you call them? Oh, one of those bulls. Oh my. Help me here, Rita. Bulls. No, one of those uh, cauldrons. There we go. Oh. One of those cauldrons that you see that they have, and usually what they'll do is they will bind a discarnate. That's why a lot of times, not all the times, but sometimes that's why they dig up bones from cemeteries, or they'll just they'll bind a soul. Yeah, and they when, do that in New Orleans. Yes, and that's part of and uh, what they'll do is when they want to curse somebody, everybody thinks it's the hair. No. What they do is they will send a dead person, a messenger, to that person or that property. And that's a lot of times where you hear that about where you get the three knocks at the door. Okay? And basically, if you answer it, you know, you accept them. And then they become attached to the... Usually they do it to the who property when that person lives there. Who practices that? Santeria, voodoo? What Santeria, what he said, Palomayombe, Palero, 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 is the dark Palero. version of Santeria. Okay, but most Santeros, they don't want to admit to it, but a lot of them... Do you practice the dark stuff? They, pro they, 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 they let a lot of discarnates around them for divination purposes. That always brings about big problems for them in their personal lives. And then you have the other ones which are out and out. They, they what they call Rayon Palo, yeah. which is... They're like the white magic. Right, but even them... Even them, they're still iffy people. Yes, because of what they dabble in. And the ones that out and out, those are the ones that if you want to, if you can't do it yourself, then you go to them if you want to curse somebody, if you want to like put a death wish on somebody or destroy them financially. The worst part about doing that, when you put a death wish on someone, you will die as well. Well, it depends. Sometimes, believe it or not, some of them, they say it's a death wish, but really what they want to see is to ruin that person or however they can, financially. Uh, their families, their just their whole. In other words, they don't want to let you off easy. They want to see you implode, and that's when they do stuff like that, where they will bury somebody on a property and they'll send you a discarnate, nine times out of ten, which was a really bad person in life, and now they're just as bad in death. And a lot of times they just, you know, they become attached to the property, and then that person moves away, and whoever comes in is. Yeah, because it was empty for a while. Okay, all right. Hmm. Uh, without knowing the circumstances, that's what I'm saying. I don't yeah, think I don't it was. The circumstances. Yeah, I don't think it was meant towards you guys. It's just like, how would you know? 
And like I said... No, what I'm saying is, over previous people, you don't know how they felt. Did exactly. they move because they'd had enough? They could have. It could have been that. It could have been that. Didn't you say they left a lot of stuff behind? Yeah, they did leave some stuff behind, yeah. Like significant or just because I know sometimes people leave things. It's, it's like that's the big question mark. But whatever it was, it's just like one of those things where after a while, let's say you'll have properties that they don't hold either owners or renters that you'll see like there's, if you ever go through, you'll keep see moving, keep they keep moving. moving because it's not something, even though I keep, that, that, that guy, this one up here, you haven't seen anybody, you haven't seen a form of anybody up there. No. I'm telling you, that person is coming, and she's showing herself now with like, <coughs> like, like usually they sometimes show themselves very translucent, or like when you see a black and white TV that you don't see any color. But this one out here, God, when you said he's a black man, I don't think he was black, but he, he will appear to be black because he's very like a black shadow, like, you know, when you see somebody. I've seen him. Okay. All right, what have you seen out there? I, he is, he's got broad shoulders. That's why I'm saying I don't. Stocky guy. Stocky guy. That's why I'm saying I, it's not an old, you know, like uh, older than, no. She's seen an older black man, she said. And okay. then when I looked, when I was out there at 3 a.m., Okay. I was telling them, I'm on my Xbox, I'm playing, I'm talking to my friends, my friends were like, man, Jordan, you're not, you're pretty quiet today. And I said, I feel something around me, I feel something looking at me. And they're like, dude, what the hell? And then headphones started going a little crackly. Mm -hmm. And that's when I heard, when I said, when I asked you, what does that phrase look at me? What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? Probably. I heard something fall in the sink. Okay. And when I looked, I kept looking at the sink, and then I saw a shadowy figure. And then I just turned and I looked away like I pretended I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. And I walked dead into that back room, the one they said I got the heebie-jeebies from, like, how do you sleep mm -hmm. in there? And I laid down next to her, and I didn't go to sleep that whole night. I stared at the door because I thought something was coming through that door. Yes. Yes. What? You want to say it? Go on. Hit. Yeah. I don't think they're going to like it. Yeah. Say it. That head moved. The what head? Well, the what moved? The head moved. Which one? The one just that's a head? Yeah. Okay, Henry, thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be shocked. Okay. Yeah. I don't. I don't, it, it, I don't. It, 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 it didn't go. It didn't go like the exorcist. <laughs> it, 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 it just turned <laughs> like that. It turned like towards the yellow skirt. Right when I was speaking. It turned. Yeah. It turned to, a, to like to the yellow skirt a little bit. It turned a little bit back. No, man. I've always told you, Corn. I've always had so bad feelings about this, this house. Side? Yeah. I've always this told side. you I don't feel good when I come here sometimes. Yeah, but maybe that's well, what? I mean, it's the truth. Uh, no, but the connection. Maybe there's a connection with what has gone on outside with your family. What? Well, yeah. Maybe it knows that you know. Because remember, I don't know anything about Santa Maria. <laughs> my family used to practice it. His family's okay. Cuban, okay? Okay. So, <laughs> 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 I w I'm Cuban, but I was born and raised here in Miami. So, so, so was I. But we're, you know, I, it's, it's, in other words, my family never practiced it. But you know, when you're Cuban, But when you're, you but when you know. grow up here, yeah, some of you know. and I've been, I mean, for other, I've, I've gone to ceremonies just to see, I've seen things, I've, I, so I've witnessed it first. So have I, so have I, my. I've seen things manifest in front of my eyes and I'm gripping onto my mother's hand. Okay. It petrified me. I've seen it. Every time, I'm never going to forget it. When her and I were moving out of here. What time was it? 12 a.m. Mm -hmm. The back shed. I was getting in a bad mood, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Because I had to carry the stuff. So I said, Becky, I want to leave now. I want to get all this stuff into the car. And I kept telling her, Becky, stay near me. In that back, black, black the white the, shed back the there. The white shed. Yeah. I said, Becky, stay yeah. near me. Yeah. 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 There was a black widow in that back shed. Yeah. But you know what? Uh, I don't, I don't. And I'm, I'm cockroaches. Well, that's, you know, that's, that's, just, that's, that's, just, just, that's just like... Here in this climate, that's, yeah, it's yeah, it's, you can't, it's, you can't, it's, it's inescapable, but. Um, I know, it might be right, because you know what? I've seen things manifest in front of me. Yes, my family did practice it, but did I ever practice it? No, 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 no. but. 
I've witnessed it. I've seen things. Yep, unfortunately. It's made me it's made me my, no, my, it's knowledgeable, Becky. It's made me more sensitive. She always says that I'm an emotional person. I am. But it's not because I'm emotional because I'm an angry guy. It's because I feel these things and I feel the sadness. I feel anger and I feel disparity. And I feel and what amazing. happened? Your your family practiced it. They stopped. Or they you stopped. Did? My father became extremely religious after. Okay. Yes, I was telling her stories how my father used to walk around with holy water from the Vatican, okay. and our pastor used to bless the oil and used to go across all the doors on the house and put a cross. On what the happened that your family got out of that? Um, my father he started experiencing financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. He started seeing how his business was plummeting. My father used to be an arms dealer. Okay. All right. And he was making a killing. A okay. killing working right. with his bosses. Okay. And then his bosses were getting into it. Okay. Heavily. And his bosses came from Cuba. Right. They had a lot of connections. Bear pigs. I don't need to go. Right. There. Exactly. So I said, we can make a killing doing this. And then they brought my dad. My dad said, dude, I used to laugh at that stuff when I right. was your age and said, mm -hmm. this is all a joke. But then my dad got influenced by these men. And then I remember my father was changing. My mother started changing. Everything started changing. My mother, right now, she has Huntington's disease. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's been brought because of the stress that she experienced because of my father. And what right? happened and my with father, And my mother also, uh, her grandmother and her, her mom and her dad were Santeros as well. In other words, they practiced it. They didn't just didn't believe in it. They practiced it. Yeah. And there's a difference. Yeah. Some people believe in it, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, they believe in it, but they practice it. But they practice it there, and, and that's the thing. If, you, if you're, if you're into that religion, it's very demanding, and they, you know that they... they. My dad never wore the all-white, though. I never understood that. He okay. never wore the all-white. Does it brush up on the kids? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it's, and it's in other words, and, and it happened to him. His mom was in a Santera, but she was a spiritualist. Mm -hmm. And... He went a couple of times to certain things because she couldn't leave him alone. And there's a mind shift when you're a child and you actually see things that people see. Like it, all of a sudden, you you, you believe it. Magic is blood sleep. sacrifice. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that a lot of times will sacrifice goats, chickens. Well, Santero sacrifice chickens, okay? But they're the ones I've that seen a horse sacrifice, horse sacrifices, oh, no, 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 various no, no, no. animals. <laughs> oh yeah, going to the woods. That's where they. Cause that's when that where okay. they kill. Where they can sacrifice they want as far away from a house. large quantity of big animals, yeah, especially dog. They uh, look, believe it or not, you, you know what? You'll drive through horse country, yes, and you can feel the energy in there, right? But this is and, and this is this is okay. Um, what happens is that when they do this, they're invoking very dark spirits, and it's like spiritual turbulence. And I'm not going to say anything is attached Sometimes to you, not even an entity. It's just negative stuff that people carry on them. And when people walk into these botanicas, 99% of the time, they've got shit going on in their lives. That's why they're there. That's why I got that. Right? Yeah. They've got shit going on. You know, either money problems, love life, you name it. So sometimes it's not that there's a spirit, it's just the, what their vibes that they bring in, their worries, it's like, you know, it swirls around them. And they kind of, and you can pick it up, you walk into these places and it can attach. That's why, you know, sometimes people feel sad or depressed or stuff that they're like, well, I was okay before, you know, depending on your aura. He's probably like, yeah, yeah, he's probably an empath. He's probably an empath. That's what an empath does. Empath will pick up on feelings. And that's why you got to be a little bit careful when you it's go to places you. like that. You got to be a little bit careful oh if you God. go to places that are very crowded. But I'm an empath, though, and I don't get. But I'm see, you, like see, you're not afraid of what you've got. He what is. Happens? He's. You sound like you've huh? got a really good what grip yeah. on your abilities, it's it's like been, since I was and you have very good boundaries. Yeah, you have really good boundaries. You see My, what I'm saying? I, was a it's been happening I just knew what I saw was wrong. But you he know, gets guilty. He gets like. Scared. But you have to understand that you. Okay, how can I tell you? You are an incarnated being where you are right now is where you are supposed to be this plane of existence is where you're supposed to be what's up there what's out there they're not supposed to be here you are an incarnated being this is where you're supposed to be and a lot of humans give up their power very easily okay and don't defend their i once you die that's it you're bye that's it this is not the place for you anymore we get the good and the bad we get the good, we can taste food, we can taste a drink, we can have sex, you know, all the things that come up. But we feel the pain, we have the disease, we have everything that comes with having a human body. Once you don't have a human body, okay, 
then as a spiritual you should need to ascend and go into another dimension or into the light or the divine whatever you want to call it but then you get these spirits that whether because they don't know they're dead or don't want to accept they're dead they hang around but guess what they don't have a body and they want to experience life for whatever reason again so that's why i'm saying having a dead person around that has never gone into the light is not good because somehow or other it always that spirit uh what happens with human beings, what happens when they become frustrated, they become envious, they become jealous, they be, the worst of, your, of, the, of a human being comes about <coughs> and it affects those that it's around. There was a, um, there was a kid, at, what's that guy's name at your school, who Bianca was with? Oh, David, I think. Yeah, there was this guy at his school and um, the minute I met him, I said, I said to him, he is vile, I okay. feel black tar is just dripping didn't I? I said okay. he's disgusting and he's vile and I even the minute we spoke to each other he like challenged me like mm -hmm. verbally and I challenged him back and we, we kind of like were very back and forward it was like he saw me and I saw him and we were going back and forth and I just told Jordan after that he's vile I do not like him at all and then Jordan said that the beads around his neck that he was wearing mm -hmm. were Santeria beads I didn't know that because I didn't know what they were and then a few months later he, he had a girlfriend he got her pregnant he beat her up in the parking lot and then he got thrown out of the school entirely and okay. I called that the minute I saw him coming you I knew it. it I knew he was like and you know what? Nine times out of ten, something was with him, was walking with oh, him, which is what she was picking yeah. up. I saw it. I saw it, it wasn't I so much. I him. From him all the time I which is it. sometimes that's what happens when you meet somebody that you don't know. You've never met them before, so you really don't have anything against he them. He challenged me, by the way, as if like yeah, of course. It was almost like he was the devil, and he because knew, he's got something that was walking with him. But he knew that to I him. had strength. And yes. He, that's why he challenged me. He was like really weird with me. But I bet you he was a very adversarial me. person. Yes. Very, very. With everybody in this. Yeah. yeah. And he's probably. But now he's in a lot of trouble. I mean, I don't Well, and then you know what? Now. And those are the ones that it, they, if you ever look back at their lives, they go like, I mean, nobody has a perfect life. Everybody has things happen to them. And that's mm -hmm. just life. But but when you see that continuous. Mm -hmm. And it's because what, and, and you have to understand it, if they have a dark attachment, especially if it's non-human, um, the ultimate aim is to destroy, to destroy your life. Destroy your life, and not so much as in killing you, as in making you miserable, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. And how do you do that? You affect the person the way that you most can. I do think it depends on the person, though. Oh, yeah, of you, course. Like, if the person is really, as you said, intact, like their aura is, their body is like air t air tight. I really do mm -hmm. believe that you can't. Exactly. Get, they can't get into that. No, exactly. And you have to. And by the way, that's a daily thing that you need to do. Sage. And, and take sage uh, <coughs> at least once a week. Where if you go someplace crowded, ownership of, hey, I'm supposed to be here. This is my body. Get out. <coughs> you know, don't, 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 don't give away your control, your power. Absolutely not. You know, I never knew. I never knew I had these things. Like she would always tell me, "You're a very intuitive person." Yes, and if you're an empath, it's now what happens that is sucks. if you're an empath, <laughs> yeah, you will pick on feelings. That sucks. Um, I can't. Do and that you know what? What people don't realize is that you have a lot of discarnates all around us all the time that are not tied to a place. They're dead, and they're always hoping that somebody will see them, acknowledge them, and they do pick up on people who are sensitive in some way or other, whether you're cla clairaudient or you could see them which by the way this is it takes a lot of power a lot for a spirit to manifest and do a lot you know like that like for example what he said that he saw that's minor that's usually a human apparition that's a discarnate when you start seeing major stuff swinging mm -hmm. things moving then you're looking possibly then at a non-human or I don't want to use demonic because that's so over the top okay but you're looking at some, probably some type of non-human entity when you start seeing major because it takes a lot of power a lot of energy to do that a lot okay well, you could be a non-believer and you could have a bad business dealing with somebody who no, is a practitioner he's a businessman he does a lot of business mm -hmm. and he's somebody he's got Cuban friends yes he, you know I mean, and if they don't do it they there's 
plenty of places that they can go to and they pay by the way they pay a lot of money well, they pay a lot a lot of, of money, money well, especially this. when you're when you're saying I want to bring that person down really? yeah. Ooh, thousands, of of thousands of dollars oh, thousands yeah. of dollars and that's and that's putting it mildly yes it's not cheap especially if you're talking hey I want to bring this guy down I want to yeah, ruin him financially right. or whatever mm -hmm. like in other words I want to curse that guy they, they pay thousands of dollars to have it done they have to go to somebody and usually somebody that does something that dark which is in a way is a curse they do it that's when they they bury it on the land where the person lives let's face it this is where you live yeah we're you know. talking about to a house and they had something by the front door mm -hmm. if they enter the if they you know enter the person what can they come out in the form of i'm sorry what could you repeat that yeah the bad energies Mm -hmm. Back there, I would say, if I were you, I would start with salting the edges of the property. Yeah. No, what what I'm saying is that I just heard what I just heard little like footsteps. Okay. The first side. Can to come down to the first side? Oh. I got my pod right here. Okay. Put it on the stairs. Put it right. Put it right there on the landing. So on that? Yeah, right there, right there on that landing. When you go you up, right before. Yeah. That little head likes Rita. Okay. Like it keeps on turning. Eyes the whole head. Yeah, it keeps on turning. The, it keeps on turning and looking at Rita. <laughs> Don't pay attention. To Rita. Yeah, I think she's me. right there. Just. I'm not touching it. <laughs> it, it really. Shh. Maybe it's because it's uneven. No, it don't matter. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Okay. I don't know if it's going to work. That plastic is, the sticks, you know? Did she go back up? Like Did she go back up, Marty? Yeah. Come back down here. Leave. Let's see. Uh, my, let's see. You need a torch. What is the torch for? That. That is. Uh, sometimes, if you do it, they can communicate um, via the light, turning on the light, the flashlight. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, so let's say let's let's ask her if. Uh, do you want me to turn this light off? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Sure. All right, I need to turn no, baby, I think it's good. Yeah, it's pretty dark over here. You scared? But... Oh, yeah. This, yeah. That's good. Because whatever is there... I take that back. It does come down here, but when it's dark and everybody's gone to sleep. That's why I wanted it to be dark. Yes. Comes down here. Looks at everything. Checks everything. Uh, have you guys ever found stuff has been moved here? I'm never really like out. Uh, right, and I'm thinking something where you think oh, that wasn't there, but you know, you're not really sure you know because what was, what was happening? What I installed a lock on my bedroom door. Uh huh. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, I installed a lock on my bedroom door with an actual key. Okay. To stop my kids from going in and out. Okay. And then I came home one day, I couldn't get in the room no more. So I had she to get... She blamed it on me, but I didn't like her. Well, so in other words, I, it I was... I say I blamed it on her, but I couldn't figure out what she could have done wrong for the lock not to work too hard. So we had to break in through the balcony and then open the door internally. The lock door because it, on the inside it has one of those things on the doorknob? Yeah, and then a door key on the outside. On the outside. And, wow. And what happened? You're, you had you didn't have the key with you, is what you're saying? No, I had the key. Didn't open the door, no more. Oh, the key didn't open the door. No. Hmm. No. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to give that suggestion to you. What's that? 
I would not be surprised if after this visit, when were you here? Yes, it was. Yes, for her, yeah. for you. <coughs> you back there. Well, when, last, was it, when were you here? Last Friday. Last Saturday. 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 Since then, the squirrel died. Oh, the squirrel died that recently? Yeah, this so week. Just now. Oh. Just now. Just died this today. Week. Okay. Was it this today or not? It wasn't today. Was it this week? It was Mary Alice. And what day was that? When all this went on with that. Mm. So this was this week, yeah. Yeah. Maybe the squirrel saw something. No, it's just bad vibes and stuff like that. That it, believe it or not, it's like it does. It does affect things. It does. That's really weird. That's so weird. That animal dying like that. That's. And on the tree. Turn. I know. That's so like. Turn on the light if you're here. Come down. No, that's me going. Well, that well. person, huh? That person's up up there. That person, even though they were, that person. Com did you hear it? Yeah. That person committed suicide. Yeah. Huh? That person committed, even though they were ill. That person. Oh. Or. Uh, okay. All right, I get it. This person, like I said, this was a person that was very high strung. Now I understand. Very manipulative emotionally. One of these people that when they wouldn't get their way, Oh, I'm gonna kill myself, or I'm gonna take this, or I'm gonna poison myself, or I'm gonna. They're kind of very uh, emotionally manipulative, and one of the times they actually were successful. You know, when somebody does something, always expecting that they're going to get crime wolf, crime wolf, or they get saved, or. This is, um, um, I know you sleep, and I don't want to say this because I know you you, 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 you you like that space up there. But this was the type, and I'm going to describe to you the way this person was. This person in life, when you met her, she was very charming and very nice and very sociable. And you know, one of these people that knows a lot of people, has a lot of acquaintances, okay? But inside in private, and private nice. to the people that were different uh, um, very much like I said the the outward appearance but uh, n uh, in private that person was emotion very manipulative very and to the point that they would that they would do that emotional blackmail stuff and one time she did it once too often cried wolf Excuse me a minute.
Have you, I'm gonna ask you because you're the person that sleeps up there, but have you ever had dreams of anybody hanging themselves? Uh-uh. Have any of you? Okay. This is how this person killed themselves, which is unusual for a woman. She hung herself. Is that real? No. No, she's uh... It's very I bet. Oh, I bet. Because he'd never, you haven't been faced before that, right? And let me tell you, that thing was going, it was going off, it was going on, and I never have to relight the stage usually. Mm -hmm. And it was like, it went crazy. And then, since I've done it since then, it's like... Yeah, it's like, okay. It's definitely slowed down. But it was like that initial staging was really weird. It was Mm -hmm. bad, because I remember that night, I did have nightmares. Mm -hmm. I remember it was the night that I woke up out of my sleep. No, I woke up out of my sleep. Remember the night where I saw the girl? Do you remember the night where I saw the girl? The woman and the girl. That was really weird right. that night. And that was the night that you saved me, and then that night as well. We'll we ran out of the apartment because we were like, and this apartment was a new build. It's, I do have, well, a, bit of a, like I do have a bit of a funny thing about the land that it's on. So we live in Sweetwater, so mm-hmm. Sweetwater's, you yeah, know, It's a kind of funky place, you already know. But that night, she had the dream of something the Something overcome that I asked him, have you done something to somebody before? Have you done something to a female? Because mm-hmm. there was this woman and after I staged him, it was an entity that was very strong. And I wasn't sure if it came from me staging him, right. or if it was just passing through the building, I wasn't sure. Yeah. That night I woke up out of my sleep and I was just, it was my bed frame, and I remember I punched my bed frame in my sleep, and I woke up and I thought I was going on. Okay. And sometimes, yeah, they stick around, they hang out with you, and she just like, you, were, you staged them and you made them like very, like that, yeah. Well, I pulled it from him. Yeah, exactly. You and did. it had, it couldn't it couldn't hold on to him anymore exactly. because I pulled it. Yes. And then it got it gets mad, you know. Uh huh. That's what things they get they get angry. Have you ever felt anything or? Let me ask you: in previous locations where you've lived, have you felt that same way about your bedroom or like the place you sleep, or is it only here? Um. No, I felt that about. I saw I saw a woman in this home that we lived in and she had a gown on. And I saw her in the house next door. Mm-hmm. And I saw red, like red light. But one night I was about to get into bed and mm-hmm. something told me like go to the wind go to the window. Okay. And I was like, okay, I went to the, you know, I went to the window, I looked out the window and there was a lady in a gown. I told you my mm-hmm. window. Remember? There was a lady in a long gown looking through the window at me. Uh-huh. And I ran from the window because I don't really know if she was real or not. And where was this at? This was at another house we used to live in. How long ago was that? Like 2013. Okay, not that long ago then. Right? Mm-hmm. It could be an mm-hmm. item. She could be attached to an item, no? She could have been, but for some reason she's... Uh, I mean, that could be something different that I saw, I don't know. Could be. Could be. Do you think she protects me? Yeah, because she needs you. I don't want to say protection. She doesn't protect you. You make it, it, it's almost like, I want to say for lack of a better word, deal with the devil. You might, it's almost like, uh, I'm going to make you feel comfortable. I'm not going to drive you out of that room because I need you, because I use your energy, because I go into your body every once in a while and I influence you. And this is the closest I can come to having a human body, which I don't have anymore. And I'm not going to get rid of you. It's symbiotic. It's symbiotic, exactly. But you're going to, you're going to, um, you're going to share, it's like a two-way street, you can't, you're, you're going to share some of the personality traits of that of that thing and physically that's why you'll have sometimes people who will get certain pains in their body or certain traits it, let's say let's say somebody that says all of a sudden their right leg hurts or their right knee and there's no injury no prior injury and then they'll start let's say favoring it this is just an example and it's because the attachment that spiritual attachment 
they did have a problem, let's say, with their knee. And then that's why you'll see sometimes the physical, you know, they, 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 they start sharing that physicality with that spirit. Mm. So they're not, she's not going to do anything against you, but... Uh, what about if I try and move? Oh, she's going to try. She's going to, she's, she's kind of, she does no, she's been, she's going to go with you. Oh, she's coming. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think she was part of this place. Mm -hmm. She wasn't here and you moved in and then, yeah. she, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't nope. imagine who that could be. It's not necessarily somebody you know. No, it doesn't have to be anybody you know. It could have been anybody you picked up along the way. Um... It could have, uh, this is definitely somebody, again, and this is what I'm saying is that, that 1960s look, uh, which is. It's really is weird, but since I've come in this house, I've got really into all of that kind of era yeah. as well. Into the what? The whole like, time. Yeah, I've got era. really okay. into, like, she took me back. She became, so she became your right, bestie, exactly. your mate. No, well, that happens is, you remember, you know how you look at the 1960s, you know how every decade you see like a different style of dressing and makeup and how in the 60s before hippies and all that, wear thick eyebrows and the uh, front and the, uh, you had to like, a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Yeah, the long gowns with the fur around the red. The around thing, the and there yeah. was a lot of the orange and the greenish, and that salmon, yeah, the pink that, color, that, that. the this green, the mint. She's green. showing me a lot of, which is usually what she favored. Um, so basically, we've got the woman upstairs, and then what did you say about down here, a man? Okay, that man, and that well, that man, that's 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 a dead guy. <laughs> that was a curse. That was something that they put on whoever was here. And I, w I would bet any amount of money that they buried... No, you know you said you might think there's someone going. Yes, that lady. I want to say that's when I saw that. It was like, is, she, this, a, is this a guy that... Is gay? Was gay? Or, or, like or, really very or, effeminate looking? cross-dresser. You know, was this... Is this is, you know how some cross-dressers, they look... They look like the opposite sex, but yeah. they're not technically... Because that's the feeling I got off this. Well, I mean, could it be somebody, could it be something masking itself? Maybe a man? It could be, it could be, but God, it would have, it, 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 in other words, it would have had to be somebody that not only, because there's cross-dressers that, they just cross-dress really good, but they, they, they inside their head, they're still male, for example. This was somebody that they thought of themselves as a woman for many years where they identified this is who they were queen mm -hmm. not even a queen i want to say somebody that lived with it was it wasn't somebody that was putting on the makeup at certain points this was somebody that lived that in their head they were a woman they always okay so here we are at the end and i bet you didn't expect that one and there was a portion at at the very beginning of the investigations when I had gone upstairs and my videographer couldn't really follow me because there was a million people in a very small tight space and one of the things I told the client the main lady of the house was that there was a possibility later on that this person could have been uh, I want to not just gay but somebody that identified themselves as being a woman okay which is why at first take it came as portraying strictly as a woman and then later on and this happens a lot when you do psychic readings that you kind of start accumulating more information about the entity plus they give more to be interpreted where I said I can't I'm not really sure and I explained the reason was because this person if indeed it it was a, a man physically did not see himself as a man he was living life as a woman and thought of himself as a woman and for us humans our perception is our reality 
and at this point that's probably going to have to stay a mystery because you know I, I tell them the information as I get it uh, so I told her I, I told the client at the beginning I said this is a woman and then later on I said but I still have this feeling that this might be a possibility and I kind of explained it as to why you know it came across this way all right um, so anyway uh, this was a really interesting investigation I tried to limit I tried to eliminate a lot of the conversations that were duplicates but I think a lot of things are happening with this family um, stuff that I didn't film because it was of a very personal nature but that undoubtedly uh, what's going on with them it's just not what people think of as in um, you know I heard this which by the way they do have a lot of auditory going on including when they're downstairs hearing somebody walking around upstairs when there is nobody there and they've all heard it as a matter of fact one of the times when we were sitting downstairs we heard if not the actual footsteps you hear when uh, in a wooden structure something shifts when somebody's walking around in an area like I said that second uh, story master bedroom basically is the only thing on this it makes up the second story of that house the rest of the house is on the first floor and um, I've lived in this type of house I live in a wooden house right now and there's a certain noise that a second story wooden structure will make when uh, somebody's walking around upstairs and that's what we heard one of the times and they told me that they had in various times actually heard somebody walking around a lot upstairs um, so yeah they have a lot of things going on again you know because of client privacy we didn't uh, film a lot of the personal things that they discuss as to how it had affected them on a personal level things that were happening within the family and this again uh, holds true to what I've said a lot of times the effects from having these type of entities whatever wherever they came from whether it was an attachment from one of these millions oh, not millions but a lot of dolls and items that this owner has or whether it's something that was tied to the land when you move to a place whatever the source is it seeps in incrementally um, and you know sometimes in hindsight is when you realize wow this is there I see a pattern and this holds true for this family uh, to the point that towards the end uh, the homeowner was telling me that she's thinking of just leaving she's leaving you know I gave her several options and some of the, some of the times well you could hear me offering different things and towards the end I did give her options of what to do and um, I did want to make a point about this a lot of people especially because they see these shows they think that you do this one big uh, drum roll thing and and then it's gone and to be honest with you when you're looking at something like this you have to start working on it day by day week by week whether it's saging salting the earth prayers whatever it's not a one-time deal you have to keep doing it and eventually whatever is there it dissipates and it also stops anything else but unfortunately Hollywood is kind of deceptive making people believe that that's it it's like you know a crack of lightning whoo and it's gone very rarely does it work out that way 80% of the time the homeowners or the people affected have to work at it every day every week every month and then all of a sudden there's that shift where they feel it they feel it but again I gave them options but the, the lady the head of the household she's telling me more than likely she might move away a lot of things going on but anyway guys I hope you like this show it's a really interesting investigation okay 
and um, I was glad I was able to capture some stuff even in the limited time that we were there okay and so subscribe to my channel hit the like button and thank you so much for uh, going ahead and viewing uh, the show and I hope you really like it and I will be seeing you guys take care